morning guys it is Monday we're about to get a ton of ice a winter storm warning is in effect in about an hour so I am on the rush to go to the grocery store because that was my plan today and I have to get we're all out of everything we're out of all of our fruit we're out of everything so I had to make a run a quick run so I got Cory breakfast he's still actually home and I'm heading off to the store very early so that is my plan for today Guys, I got a two-point coffee here. I dumped the other stuff out because it was a lot higher, and I am I didn't finish it all. I didn't even finish half of it, so I'm going to count the other one as two. I'm going to count this one as two. Four points for coffee this morning. I am now working on getting my video live. It is processed and done and uploaded. I just have to finish the thumbnail. Yay. So that's my what I ate for yesterday. I have breakfast here, and I made it back from the store before it started raining. That is a good thing. And I have a slice of Velveeta for one point, a half a cup of blueberries, and two and a half slices of bacon. That will be four smart points for breakfast and four smart points for coffee this morning. That's it so far. Here is my mid morning snack an apple for zero smart points starting lunch guys and I have seen so many of you youtubers use this little gadget I got this off of Amazon and oh my gosh I love it I love it it's to crunch up your ground meat and it works wonderful holy cow I absolutely love it and my husband's like why would you need to buy that well this is why honey this is why it's wonderful it's with the 99% fat-free turkey. It is the extra lean, and it's 99% lean, 1% fat. With this turkey, it's kind of dry. So what I end up doing is, instead of using any oils or anything like that, I will let it brown for a little bit, put some onions in there, salt the onions because it will leave give off a little bit of fluid as, as well. But I put in a little bit of the organic chicken broth, in there until it is done and then when I'm making my tacos it says to add three quarter cup water I add three quarter cup of the chicken broth makes fantastic tacos with the taco seasoning packet of course this is the taco sauce I use and this whole package rings up at two smart points this makes four two taco servings so you can have tacos four different times you can have two tacos four different times and by the time you have two tacos, this ends up being zero smart points in if you, as long as you keep it to two, you're good. So that's what that looks like. I did use a th three quarter cup chicken broth with the taco seasoning packet. Third cup of coffee for two smart points. Second 32 ounce glass of water. Weather is starting to get nasty, guys. I don't like it. All right, guys, I have two soft shell tacos here. This is five smart points for two of them. Some steamed broccoli on the side. That is lunch today. This is my afternoon snack, you guys. One smart point, it is the Butterfinger dessert that I always make every single day, just about. Usually you have it at night, but today I'm having it this afternoon because I'm hungry for it. One smart point, it is in my Cook With Me videos in my playlist, so check that out if you're interested. Good afternoon, guys. I knew... I knew, I knew. Look at what I did to my coffee pot. It fell on the floor because I had it on my dish rack there. And look at all the dishes I had to do. It fell off of there and it busted. So now it kind of leaks a little bit. But yeah, Corey didn't take coffee today. So I knew that I'd be having a lot of coffee today. So that's why I didn't have any snacks kind of in between except for like an apple and a yogurt, which was just one point of snacks. So... I'm a little bit hungry, looking forward to dinner, and dinner's going to be chilly tonight. But this coffee, guys, I can't help it. This is my fourth cup. It's two points, so eight points of coffee today. Eight points of coffee. But I knew I was going to do that because Corey dumped his coffee back in the coffee pot because he didn't take coffee this morning for whatever reason. I don't know, but now I had to drink it all. Night for supper, guys, is a one-point chili. This is one cup of chili with some feta cheese in it. So good with the feta. Still working on my fourth cup of coffee. <laughs> Trying to enjoy it because I'm not having any more because the coffee is gone. 
But this is dinner, guys. One point chili. Good evening, guys. I am on the elliptical again. Going to try to get a mile and a half. So I wanted to close up the vlog here. But on the elliptical and doing a mile and a half. So thanks for watching. And we will see you guys all tomorrow for another What I Ate. Bye. Guys, this workout was the hardest one so far. I ended up getting a stomach ache in the beginning of this. I think because I ate chili way too soon before I exercised. I like ate chili and then I jumped on the elliptical right away. I definitely don't want to do that next time. But it was so slow. As you can see, it took 25.54 minutes. I was watching Julie over at Living Large and Lifetime. And even though it was just a mile and a half, I did burn 177 calories and my mile per hour speed, which is usually 4 point something, is 3.5. So I really went slow, but I got it done.